Base Merchants versus the strongest players in FIFA 23. Which team is going to come out on top? Interesting, interesting. In today's video, we're going to find out which stat is more important in FIFA 23. We're going to put these two squads up against each other in a variety of different challenges. First, let's go through the teams. Pace Merchants first. I think this is the first FIFA where Pace isn't the most important stat, but it's still important. We've got Kylian Mbappe up top in this team. 97 sprint speed, bro. He is rapid. In Yaki Williams in here as well. He's not too slow either. 94 sprint speed. By the way, I've picked the team based on the sprint speed stat. Vinicius Jr. is in here with 95 sprint speed. Dembele as well with 93. By the way, you'll be surprised. Fede Valverde, 91 sprint speed. How is he pulled that off? And Lorette is quick as well. At the back, of course, Theo Nandes and Kyle Walker are literally the quickest fullbacks. Van Dyke also surprised me. I thought he was going to be on the strongest team, but he's one of the centre-backs with the fastest stats crazy. And on the bench as well, these players are rapper. We've got Adam Traore who's literally one of the fastest players on the entire team. Emre Chan as well is super quick for the kind of player he is. And Anthony Lopez is also rapid for a goalkeeper. He's actually a bit faster than Edison. And I was surprised Alfonso Davies only made the bench because Hernandez is slightly quicker than him. Off we now go to the beast team. Do it! You know what? If we weren't going to use a two-striker formation, Erling Haaland wouldn't have made it. But you know what? With that 94 sprint speed, he would have probably made the Pace Merchants team. I think Lukaku is the strongest player on this side with 95 strength. Hogba is pretty strong as well, so he gets in. We've got Kondogbia and Goretzka in the midfield. Casemiro with 90 strength. I don't see him as that strong of a player, but oh well. But at the back, Koulibaly is a monster with 94 strength. Sula as well. Reese James was the strongest fullback after this guy. Calvin Bassi, the Ajax left back. By the way, look at his reaction to finding out his FIFA 23 rating. It's hilarious. Bassi Silva, bro. <laughs> 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 And on the bench, we've got some more ballers. Haller and Zapata. I think Zapata is the strongest striker. He's stronger than Haaland. Haller is there. We've got Fafana, Danilo Pereira, Kobel as well with 81 strength for a keeper. Sebastian Cotes and Ronald Araujo. I've put him in because he's also comes as a right back. So that is the strong FC. Let the games begin. The first challenge we've got is a career mode challenge. We're going to put these two teams, of course, in career mode. Sim through the season and find out who does better, pace team or strength team? Let's use Chelsea for this so we don't impact the games. And also, both teams have been put in the Champions League, so I'm interested to see which team comes out on top. By the way, we got sacked as Chelsea boss, and now we're coaching Southampton. Doesn't matter who has won the Premier League between the pace team and the strength team. Okay, both teams have finished very highly. We've got Spurs in fifth, Arsenal fourth, United third. It's a 1-2 for the pace and strength team. Who's won? Oh my god, pace merchants have managed managed to win by four points. Haaland of the strength team managed to score the most goals in the league along with Ronaldo. Mbappe scored 22. The career mode challenge isn't done yet, though we've got the FA Cup. Who wins that? Oh, Aston Villa managed to win that. The strength team are just taking L's out here. Unacceptable. No, in the Champions League, the strength team got knocked out in the round of 16. Whereas the pace merchants have managed to win the Champions League. That is insane. Well, looks like the pace merchants have won the career mode challenge. We're now taking the pace versus strength battle to the parking lot. Okay, it's Davies, Mbappe and Vinicius representing pace FC. And we've got Haaland, Goretzka and Koulibaly representing strength FC. Let's see what happens in this parking lot brawl. This is the first game of Volta I'm actually looking at in FIFA 23. Does look good. Similar like last year. Let's see who wins this. Okay, okay, okay. Pace FC is just too quick. But look at the strength of Gretzka and there they go. Oh, they might get a goal here. They might get a goal here. Why is he not shooting? Easy! Holland gets the first goal. There you go. I don't know why he was not shooting up until Davies was on the line. Or Vinicius, actually. By the way, first the three goals wins. Okay, Mbappe might join the party. Vinicius Jr. might Bruh. shoot. Oh, he missed. How did he miss from there? Okay, Koulibaly has been floored. Mbappe? Bro, Strength FC is dominating. Strength FC is dominating. Haaland? Why is he not shooting? Why did he not shoot there? Okay, Vinicius is getting the goal. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, boy. Look at the celebration. Haaland can literally just shoot from here and, and get this challenge done. But he just does not want to shoot. Okay, Koulibaly. Goretzka. They give it away so badly. Vinicius just using the pace. Vinicius, he's just going to tap it home. Who won? Pace FC continue to dominate. All right, the beefy boys need to start getting back into things. 
Koulibaly out to... How is he dribbling like that? Haaland. Koulibaly, he almost scored. Haaland wins it back. Bro, how is Haaland missing that? And now Pace FC. Mbappe wins it for them. Pace FC. They won the career mode challenge. They've won the futsal challenge as well. But this is the ultimate challenge. We're now putting the two teams on the pitch in a 11v11 match. Pace versus strength. Who's going to win it? Okay, let's make a prediction. My money is on Pace FC again. They've shown nothing but being the better side. You know, they've, they've won the career mode challenge. They smashed that. And they also won it in the parking lot. So let's see what happens here. They might already get a goal. Killing them. Nope. Pop it through. What a save from Neuer. Oh, Looking like a crossing opportunity, and it's chaos, and Mbappe strikes first. Pace FC is destroying the strength FC in FIFA 23. Say what you want, but it looks like Pace is king. Okay, it does look like finally the strength squad is doing something with Haaland and Lukaku. If he can get that shot blocked away. No, it's a pen! It's a pen for what? I'm confused. The referee is given a pen for that. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's do our own VAR check. No. It's a wrong call. That can't be a pen. That can never be a pen. Klopp's fuming. Oh, Lukaku taking this penalty over Haaland. Can he put it in? Easy. Bro, he smashed that one in. It's 1-1. One, one. Maybe, just maybe on the pitch, Strength FC can do something. Virgil van Dijk looking for Ossiman. How is Neuer saved that? Oh, here goes Calvin Bassi, the man who is Bruh. disappointed with his FIFA rating, and I can see why. You know what the Strength FC need to do? They need to make this a scrap. Make this about getting set pieces bullying defenders just like how Lukaku is doing right now Kondogbe shoots Virgil blocks this game is quickly turning into chaos Pop off the crossbar Lukaku with an overhead kick what is going on here bro I kid you not the team of strength have had more shots but the XG is similar oh they've gone through Lukaku goes for goal off the post Bro, I did not expect this comeback from strength FC they've been battered all video long but looks like they're back Look at this, they're destroying Pace FC in terms of keeping possession and everything. Holland, he's one player who's got the pace and the strength. Can he use it though? What was that? Kyle Walker, inside for Ossiman. Oh, they're going to score. They're going to score. Ossiman might get another chance. Cleared away. I'm so freaking glad we brought back these experiments. They're so much fun to do. We used to do them all the time. Back on FIFA 20, FIFA 19, man, honestly. Oh, no. Oh, no. The pace merchants are getting it done. Neuer saving them. Oh, Goretzka might be through on goal. Where's he got that pace? And Edison with the save. Mbappe. Mbappe. Mbappe going for goal. That's it. That's done. Killian Mbappe. The biggest pace merchant of them all manages to get them quite possibly the winner. I can say that Strength FC put up a fight, but pace is still king on FIFA 23. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what experiment we should do next, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.